it's wrestling as it's meant to be. This is Aaron Stevens, the NWA's champ maker, legend maker. Call me what you will, but uh, I want to let you in on a little secret. If you want to get your NWA fix, you can go to NWA JCP Promotions on YouTube to check it out. Check out all your favorite superstars, the up-and-comers, some of the ones you recognize. I'll be on there, of course. Who wouldn't want to watch that? And uh, also go follow JCP. That's Joe Kazana Promotions, by the way, at NWA JCP, JCP Southeast. They're on social media. Very easy to find. Look for the logo and let the rest speak for itself. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Cold Field 5, the revenge of the SSC, and the main event, 10 men, two rings, one war. It is war games, ladies and gentlemen. But before we even get there, we need to make sure that the coin toss happens. One team will have an advantage. So right now, I can't think of a better way to start. Let's have a coin toss.
show me and it all comes down to this. Ten men, two rings, one more. Of course, one individual from both teams will start off the match five minutes later. Another member of whichever team wins the coin toss will be in there giving an advantage. The coin toss will give one of you an advantage over the other team. The one's fired up right now. Let's go, one! Kid should be arrested. Was not even. <laughs> We're not.
like Spanky. Spanky just took off as soon as they lost the advantage. Where's he going? Tonight, we were told that this was going to be Thrill Billy Silas Mason's NWA JCP Southeastern Championship Open Challenge. Of course, earlier we found out that the Open Challenge was going to be filled by the winner of Johnny Poke and Dr. Joe Briggs. Poke, of course, coming out there. No joke. And there is no joke having to get into the ring with Silas Mason. Not only if he was fresh, but no, he's beaten up already. Yeah, I mean, Thrill Billy, he's already a handful, right? He's the biggest man who's ever lived. I feel like uh, JCP might go up in the scorecard here. Coming out to dead or alive because I think that's how this match is going to win. He's going to—he's he's not going to win this match dead or alive, I don't think, no, in the he's, condition he's in. He's got a definite tall task ahead of him. Is this the version that you sang, Dan? Maybe. All right. <laughs> Sixes high representing the Southern Six. Danny Deals, I know who you're rooting for in this match. That man sells merch for you all the time. Hey man, the Southern Six is a good team. There you go, Silas. Use the other ring. Why not? That's what I was trying to ask Dan earlier. He started talking about the structure of the ring. I want to know if you can use both rings. Please tell me that he is going to have the match in the nope, he's already leaving the ring. <laughs> Leave it to Thrill Billy to be different about what's happening. Going to that far side. Tested all of those ropes. NWA JCP, Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, the Thrill Billy Silas Mason. I heard a rumor that the reason that Thrill Billy is not in the main event is they are worried that he would actually win the Tag Team Championships all by himself. Well, it's possible. <laughs> Hollywood star via Blunt County. I have to ask, is this just more NWA JCP bias here? Having the man representing their brand, Thrill Billy Silas Mason, defending against someone who's already been destroyed, representing SSC Johnny Pokemon. Johnny Pokemon, Johnny Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. he knew what the stiff was when he was in that match. Thrill Billy Silas Mason asking for the there microphone. Dan figured it out. Who are you who is so wise in the ways of science? <laughs> that was great. I felt like there was a warlock next to me. Speaking of warlocks. Oh boy. Ever since he went to Hollywood, he's been nothing but full of hate.
Is he going to wrestle the whole match with the microphone in hand? Maybe. He's going to give us the match up. We won't have to commentate it. Oh! My God. Big old Jack. Johnny Poke has already had a match. I thought he was going to wrestle the whole match with the belt on. You know this is the boy in this truck. He is the Holyfield. I've been standing here for over two years. And I never had a man that he even got close to blowing the skirt on the champ's face. Oh, Poke, Poke went between the rings. He's back under the up back side here. He's sneaking in. Oh, it's sex in the spear! Oh. We almost had a new champion. That was almost no joke. Go poke the bear. You know, usually a height advantage is something that you'd speak of, but right now, that height advantage, you can't even hit poke. He just set through for a ride, and not for a ride. This poke did oh. oh, no! The thrill ride! Chalk it. And just like that. The open challenge has now been shut. Still NWA JCB Southeastern champion, through a belly, Silas Mason. Johnny Poke up off the uh, mat here with a shovel. He got implanted with that thrill ride. NWA fans, Kyle Davis here with Tyler Shoup, and you are here going against Drew Hood. The Openweight Championship is on the line. Your chance to head gold here at JCP. What are your thoughts, sir? Well, you just caught me. I just finished running these stairs as a warm-up here, and Drew Hood came on Instagram to remind me, Tyler Shoup, the man that trains Hyda, that he's the NWA JCP Openweight Championship. Well, Drew, you won the title, you left, and you ain't been back out of your hood since you won it. So I'm here training harder for championship opportunities, and you said I made a mistake? I think you're the one who made a mistake stepping into Coldfield, Tennessee, Stu Crew country, baby, in the ring with a man who's committed to the routine and committed to bringing that title back to Tennessee. You're right, it is hot out here, but the action just as hot. The championship is on the line. It's hard to believe Salt Pepper wrote this for him. Yeah, like 20 years before he was born. <laughs> Take a seat into the future. Listen, I just believe what Tyler tells me. Former Penn State wide receiver. Man, you know pretty well, actually gave his first pitfall loss, Alex Taylor. That's right. Here he is looking to redeem himself, get back on his winning ways as he was undefeated up to that point. Trained by Dr. Tom Pritchard. Does a lot of that going around NWA JCP. You know, he lost that at uh, the Troubadour. Daniel and I were there. Yes. Yeah. And I, uh, Dan uh, lost 20 bucks to me that night. I put 20 down an hour. He still has to pay me. I was going to ask, have you seen the money? Uh, not yet. He did give me some cashews that he had in the jacket. Maybe you can double or nothing tonight. But you know what? Every match is a gamble when you step into the squared circle. Tyler Shoup obviously has the opportunity right now representing SSC to redeem his loss last time we were here at NWA JCP. Oh, NWA J 
JCP Openweight Champion, Drew Hood. It's so interesting. I feel like almost everybody that's representing NWA JCP here tonight not exactly endearing themselves to the crowd. Hey, well, you know what? It's these people's fault that they don't understand real talent, all right? Of course, Drew is a belt collector of sorts. He beat Toby Farley for the championship. Sure did, in hair. I was there. I predicted. See, this is interesting. Usually, he lets he lets his hits do the talking for him. SSC. A lot on the line here, not just the championship, but points. up right in front of your opponent. You know what Drew should do? He should jump into the other. He should. I bet you that would throw a ball. Or he should do squats. If you're going to do push-ups, he's going to do squats. I would just get in the other ring. I think that would throw a uh, ball. You know, deals with a history of managing talent here. Maybe you should go to the ringside and help him out. Well. But that would be biased. Uh, I'd like sitting over here. Are you just trying to get rid of me? No, never. I get those merch deals having your That's right. Beautiful backdrop right there. Arm drag and make it a pair. Fired up. Slaps the arm bar right onto Drew Hood. Cofield crowd. Shan Shoop already. Snuck a win out of Toby Farley to get that open weight title. Hold on a minute. We back in Harriman. We were there in Harriman. You yeah. and Doc, Hall of Fame Dr. Tom. Yes, Hall of Fame Dr. Tom. Hall of Fame. We saw it. We didn't Monkey sneak flip. a win out of anything. You know, with an open weight championship, it means anybody could be anything at any size. Both these men pretty equal in their oh. build and athleticism as well. This one's a pretty fair contest. I'm just telling you, Kyle, because you weren't there. Don't listen to old Dangerous Dan. He didn't sneak the win out. Misinformation? He has dangerous misinformation? Yeah, yeah that's I, right. Dangerous misinformation. Yeah. Yeah. Fake news Dan. Fake news. <laughs> it was, he beat him fair and square. Well, Hood is taking a moment. Is he just giving up on the match? No, he's just taking a breather. He called the timeout. This championship can't change hands on a count out. However, the points are still in play if he loses the match by count out. He's got the championship. Whoa. Let's make sure it's going to the wrong hands. Duxon and Saguri. What's 
strategy here by the champ. Hood had this all planned out, it seems. Yeah, what strategy? He is the prince. Did I tell you that? Listen, you win championships by knowing what you're doing in the ring, and I think it's pretty obvious. He Drew knows, knows exactly what he's doing. He's keeping that foot right on the uh, stomach area. Although I have to be honest with you, I might just be me being hungry. I swear his gear looks like melted cheese. I think he's just hungry. Because it kind of looks like, and I don't see melted cheese. That's fine. If you're ever in the area, folks, the Cofield Diner is a delicious place to go. Just want to put that out there. I had a burger and fries there earlier today. It's cash only. It was not cash only, but I'll tell you what, it satiated my hunger, and it could satiate the hunger of these two competitors because they are hungry for the win and hungry for the gold. I'm hungry like a wolf. Hard whip into the corner turnbuckle. Again, because the audience is 10. Rattle shoot to his core there. You can feel every hit to the spinal column through the hands just like that. He's dazed, he's confused, he's at a disadvantage. He's dazed and confused. We're in the 70s if we're talking about the era, it's in. But enough about that, let's get back to the competitors. Stiff, stiff boots right to the sternum. Yeah, the champ's in total control here. He's got this match in hand. It's good to have confidence, but you don't want to get too cocky. I'm not saying he's got the match in hand. I didn't say by me. Right now, he's got it in foot with those stops and presses in the corner. No, no, that's true. He is not amused. Drew Hood says he talks loud, but he hits harder, and right now, Shoop is experiencing that firsthand. He's to the back, chop right to the chest. <laughs> That's it. Nah, it should have been three. You know, a chop usually doesn't end a match, but if you keep up the abuse there, keep on going for those pinfalls any moment. He's just right thing. Out. He's working. Right. Yeah. If he can't get his breath, he can't get his air, he can't kick out at three. Hey, everybody's chanting Drew in here. I think you're chanting shoot. Uh, I think it's true. It's See, the Dan, accent. Dan, what do you think? I think they're talking, they're chanting shoot. They're chanting shoot. I know they're chanting shoot. You guys just hanging up though. Oh, a miss from Drew Hood. Oh, right in the shoulder. I'm feeling that one. Beautiful lariat. Another one for effort. Shoop on a roll here. Yeah, Drew's got a stop. Russian leg sweep. Side shoop and leg sweep. Right in the third quarter. Harder. That's the final set. Counter. Putting up the point of an elbow right in his ear. Beautiful oh. drop kick. This could be it. No way. Kick out at two. He's got to save it for JCP. You know, it's Understand. great to have the moment of feeling the crowd, feeling the energy, but he can't let up. He can't lose the advantage he just got. Shoot measuring for something here. Could it be the routine? His flipping neck breaker. Going again for the final set. Holds the ropes, roll up. Whoa. Double chop to the chest. Chop right there. Smothers chop. Might have gotten him in the throat. Tennis Feels like he's spent. grasping for his wind. Oh, yo, oh, knee down. Oh, oh, oh. Caught him right in the face with that knee. Right in the chest. Pin him. Shoot could be out. No. You know, he might still be out. That might have just been on impulse. Big knee to the face. Still gasping for air after those chops to the throat. Yeah, who's going to stay on top of this guy? Back and forth. Both men have had the advantage as the match has gone on. Drew Hood back to the outside here. What's he gonna? Is he, is he looking for yeah, a go back chair? He had to find an empty chair here. He can't afford to get disqualified. Yes, the title won't change hands, but again, the points. Referee telling him no. Hunter Sharps right there telling him no. It's kind of rude. Oh, he's got the championship. He's got the belt. She doesn't see it. He's got the belt. Hey, Toby Farley. What's Tobias doing up here? Toby He's got Farley. that championship that he had before. Drew Hood's oh, up. No. They cheated. Final set. They cheated. Shoot's got Three it. Three three though. Shoot's got it. She's pinned. not in position. Put her up. She's not in position. Losing precious moments. No. Oh, kick out. He could have had it if only the referee was there. Hey, you know what? They cheated. 
for that to happen. Jabai is hit with the belt. Backslide. Right. This could be it. That's Whoa. it. That's got it. Moment of triumph for that young Shoot. man. What a moment of triumph for that young man. <laughs> that was crazy. We've seen a new champion. We've seen points. Drew got cheated. He got cheated. Drew had cheated. He got cheated. Oh man, the, the crowd coming in and celebrating with this young man here. All the kids. That's a moment of triumph for this young man. Wrestling fans, if you thought Joe Kazana Promotions was great before, well, in 2024, it's only going to get better. The stars of the National Wrestling Alliance and JCP have come together to form NWA JCP, the wrestling promotion that's taking the Southeast by storm. Follow on YouTube, click on the socials. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss out because when it comes to NWA JCP, well, it's wrestling as it's meant to be. This next match is scheduled for one call. One call. That's actually Kylie Page, but it's all right. The sisters are inseparable. Sometimes it's hard to tell apart on that. This match, of course, is going to be for the NWA JCP Women's Champion. The Kylie Page right there is the Women's Champion. She's also a former NWA World Women's Tag Team Champion, representing Pretty Empowered as well. She wins belts everywhere she goes, Kyle. She does, and representing NWA JCP tonight, of course, as the champion. But she has a tough battle ahead. They, they, these are some points for JCP right here. Well, they are down by one in the point system right now. However, SSC, La Princesa, Tiffany Nieves, is going to be representing them in this match. The title is on the line. This could be a double loss for NWA JCP. Uh, well, let's, let's not overreact. Here. And we're Not overreacting, we're speculating. Get it, got it, Bueno. Looking for an opportunity here at championship in NWA JCP, and this is her shot there. She's taken plenty of issue with Pretty Empowered in the past, and again, that's a group that Kylie Page is literally the bloodline of. SSC being represented by La Princesa against NWA JCP Women's Champion Kylie Page. Title and bragging rights on the line in this night of high stakes action. I like Tiffany, yeah, but let's be honest. Yeah. She's out of her league here with Kylie Page. You know, Kylie Page is very young in professional wrestling, and yet somehow has managed to win championships everywhere she's been. So don't sell La Princesa short. There could be moments where Kylie might be inexperienced. You can be a champion and still be inexperienced at times. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Tiffany Nieves is one of the recent announcements there's one of the recent announcements that uh, inked an exclusive deal with NWA. Both of these young ladies are under contract with the National Wrestling Lights. The excitement that you see every time you come to an NWA show, be it NWA, NWA JCP, Exodus, any of the territories. Ladies and gentlemen, the action is about to kick off with the title on the line. You forgot about Crossfire. It's Kylie's promotion. I knew you were going to do that. You are the pretty empowered shill of this group. The sure merchandise, the marketing, they book you for their shows. I, I call it how I see it. They do, actually. I was, uh, I was at the last show. Of course, it was packed out. Paid Sisters the deal, man. La Princesa there playing, just stalling, making Kylie think about it. This is a head game. It's got to be a head game. She's got the championship. Whoa. <laughs> 
it's very interesting because as we've seen as the night has progressed, usually SSC is the more popular athletes of the evening for people here, but uh, La Princesa not endearing herself to the crowd either. I didn't see him. <laughs> good. I, didn't yeah, good. I got you covered. <laughs> well, you know, Cass Page, Cass, Cass Page is from Tennessee, East Tennessee. We're technically East Tennessee. He's actually from Tennessee. La Princesa from Bronx, New York. I mean, let's face it, not a popular place here. Well, you know, some of these people are moving to me and Kyle. Don't tell them I'm from Connecticut. Oh, well, they know. Oh, they can smell it on me. Yeah. First time I ever came here, they're like, where are you from? <laughs> Both ladies jockeying for a position. Kyle and Elbow Tyler just going around the ring, around the world. Tiffany, doing the best to get Kylie off of her and even cover there. Both these competitors have wrestled a number of times throughout the country. Still, every match you learn something new about an opponent. They're still learning about each other, and right now, trying to figure out where the best way to start. Well, they're also, you know, like you said, they're a lover. They're, they're still young into the business. They're, they're learning. For an early pitfall right there, no luck. They're, they're still going to come. They're going to learn new holds. Luthes press and she's wailing away on uh, Kylie. Yeah, and, and Fritz, who's, see, Fritz, this is a carryover for power. He doesn't like the pages for power. You notice he didn't do anything to get Tiffany off of Kylie. Diddy, I constantly hear you talk about biased referees. Uh oh. It's, well, it's like your thing, it's like you have a sixth sense. Well, I mean, did you see that or did you not? Did he or did he not do anything to get Tiffany Gamma? Now look Fist to the face face right going. now. Both fired up. This is getting personal. This Kylie returns the face. Page sister bias. I'll tell you what, these it. fans are not biased about the action they're getting to see. Running European uppercut in the corner. And going in for another one, looks like. No. Change of space right there. You know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta play the head games. Make them think you're doing something. Bob and Weave swerve. Knees to the abdomen. Kylie feeling it again. She's going to go for that hip attack in the corner, looks like. That's how I get the crowd fired up when I'm in front of them as well. I'm telling you. <laughs> hip to the jaw. La Princesa is definitely struggling right now. Kylie's all over like a cheap suit, Kyle. <laughs> no. She's coming Ooh. at her like oh. a kangaroo with two fists. I don't even know what that means. Counters the leg, roll up. Sometimes a flash pin comes out of nowhere like this. This could be it. That should have been it. Kylie and Lafred Sessa just trying to get that quick pinfall. Back Both and of forth, them. back and forth. They just... You know, there's two ways of looking at it. Do you conserve your energy and play the long game, or do you burn yourself out, possibly, by trying to end the match quick? And it looks like they're both going for the exact same idea. It could backfire for one of them. Oh, yeah, you got to try to end it early and get out of it, right? You don't get paid by the hour in there. True, but if you don't take your time, you can make a mistake and not leave champion. Kick right back to the face there. Tiffany saw an opening there. On the top rope, just trying to play in the crowd. Now well, she's stuck into the music. Whoa. Out there. Mistake. That ain't gonna help. The problem with ego is it sometimes gets in the way. The same thing that gets you to a winning position can cost you that winning position. Knock the wind right out of Kylie. Grab that jaw. Oh! That's called a receipt, Danny Deals. That, that'll clean you out. Kylie, the Page sisters are known for their hits. I'm going to tell you that right now. They, they, can, they can brawl with the best of them. And if anybody knows hits, it's Dangerous Dan on the mic right over here right now. Oh! Look at that combo spinning right back here. fist. Huh? Look at that combo. How about a triple cheeseburger? These two have been hitting each other so hard, I have to ask, do they oh. even know where they are? Spinebuster! Hey. Did somebody accidentally hit the music? I, I don't, that wasn't me. I don't we know. got Fran Slayer coming out. 
She was the longest reigning JCP Women's Champion over 400 days. Kylie beat her for the championship. What is she doing out here? I'm not sure. She has yet to cash in her rematch clause. No stranger, Tiffany and her as well. Freya actually beat Tiffany for the OVW title. But she's out here doing her beauty shot. I mean, what's right in the middle of the match? Well, the match is still going on right now. Well, how is she? What? We've heard it wow. here in the arena. This is now a triple threat match for the NWA JCP Women's Championship, and she's got the advantage. Not only does she have the size and the strength advantage, but now first competitor in the ring. Well, gentlemen, I have in my notes here that Tiffany is representing the SSC, Kylie's representing NWA JCP, and I've just been told in my ear, Freya is representing NWA JCP as well. Did, did, do we think Joe Kazana may have pulled a fast one on us here? I think there is some deck being stacked. Who's talking to you in your ear? Is that an ear I, I had a little message in my ear. I said, they, they said Trey is representing NWA JCP in this match, and it's now triple threat. Swinging backbreaker already adding more damage to the already damaged La Princesa. I have to ask, did Kylie know about this? I, I don't think she just looked like she did, but maybe they could team up. This may have been a surprise to both women. Well, here's the thing we have to remember. Kylie beat Freya for the championship, so there's there's no love lost here, even oh, if, yeah. if the points are on the line. Well, that's it. Just like that. That's it. I take it all back. They work together as a unit. Wow. How could she be so jovial with somebody who took a championship from her? Hey, if, if, if Freya was the uh, dark horse of the volumes. match here, that she got paid to come in and help Kylie. Same, same team, right? One same team, team. One three, right? Money makes strange bedfellows of us all, and NWA JCP Joe Kazana apparently tossing that money around to get the advantage. We're tied up. La Princesa at ringside wanting gold so bad she's stealing titles from fans. <laughs> We're going to see what else tonight brings, ladies and gentlemen. That was pretty crazy. I didn't have that one. Uh, I would have never guessed that was going to happen. I still can't believe that these two are working together now. Maybe it's just for tonight. One team, one dream. We're about to put a cage up and have a war.